Welcome, this is Linus. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the necessary tools to develop for Android. I feel like this channel have been in need for the very basics for a while, so people who doesn't have any programming skills will eventually be able to catch up and watch the other videos, like for example the game programming videos I have uploaded. However, this doesn't mean I will stop the game programming series. I will still upload game programming videos for you to watch. If you have any suggestions on what type of game you want to learn to code, there are no multiplayer, comment down below. Anyways, let's get back to the topic. As I said, we are going to need to get the tools for Android development. The first tool we are going to download is the JDK, which you need to develop for Java. The JDK can be found by Googling for JDK download. I'll put up a link in the description for the download location. Download it to JDK and install it into a folder you can easily remember. For example, C programming files and java. I placed my java folder here. What we need to do now is to set something called environment variables. We are first going to check to see if they already are set. You can do this by opening up the comment prompt. To open up the comment prompt, go to the start menu and search for run. Launch it and enter cmd, which stands for command prompt. Now inside the command prompt type in java c. If you see the same results as in the video, you will not need to set environment variables because they are already set. However, this is probably your first time to try and program for Android, so it probably isn't set, so I'm going to show you how to do that. You do this by going into your computer, then you access the control panel. Inside the control panel search for environment. Then enter the system and go into the advanced system properties. Get into the submenu advanced and go into environment variables. Then locate the path file to your JDK slash bin folder. Open up the variable called path and copy in the path file to the bin folder. If there already is a text inside, enter this little symbol at the end of the line and then copy in the path file to your bin folder. Now restart the command prompt and try again to type in java c. It should look like it does in my video. If it does not, please post a comment below and I will help you. We are now going to move on and get the Android SDK model. It contains the SDK for Android and Eclipse. Eclipse is what we are going to use to program with, and SDK is what we actually need to program for Android. So go ahead and google for Android SDK and download it. You should find it fairly easy. When you have downloaded it, unzip the file and put the SDK folder on your computer. For example, at C, Users, and then Android SDK. And then just launch Eclipse. Everything should work. If it doesn't, again, post below in the comment section and I will help you. This video was kinda short and that was all. So I would like to thank you for watching. New videos will be up soon, so stay tuned. In the next video, I'm going to show you Eclipse and how to navigate around in it and tell you a little bit about the files. If you liked the video, please give it a thumb up and maybe even subscribe to my channel if you're interested in more videos. Once again, thank you for watching.